So welcome to another week in Bunkai Strategies and this time out we're going to take a look at a move from uh, Teki Showdown or Naihanshi. Um, the difference I guess is that in the shotter cam version the move is pulled right up here and brought back in. And what you see in um, the, the versions that are called Naihanshi is they tend to just do this. So we're going to take a look at the shotter cam version and give us a reason for bringing this hand all the way up here. Of course, the answer is there are several reasons. There's many applications that you can do. First one we're going to take a look at is um, just to take a likelihood. And the likelihood is the opponent is throwing a big right hook. Now, if he's throwing his big right hook and we stuck our arm up like this, he's either going to glance over the top, glance underneath, or impale himself on our elbow. Any of those are absolutely fine. Okay, so if I go, then he's gone over the top, and we've got this strike coming in. And if he goes underneath here, then I've got this strike coming in. And if I land the two together, then the effect is multiplied. So this kind of defensive posture is a reasonable defensive posture to have particularly when it's a big hook. And remember that you can pretty much govern whether it's going to be a hook or a straight with how you position your guard. If I'm out here like this, it's going to be straight. If I close down my guard, look, leave me alone, then it's going to be a hook. And so all we've got is a reflex that brings it up to here and we land this down. Now, one of the joys of this is that when the body is compacted and we hit this way, then it's fairly sturdy. But as soon as we raise this, then that becomes very vulnerable. So when the opponent throws that big right hook, oh, so we go for a big left hook this time, and we bring that up to there, he's making this area more vulnerable. And so bringing this up to here and dropping this in at the same time becomes very good for us. Then the last part of the technique is um, something that perhaps might go a little bit wrong. If I go like this, then I get just a decent shot. What we like to do is to get it so that when it comes in, we've got this hitting here, I want to try and maintain the contact and wind that arm in so that he's well under control. Now the failure rate, if it comes off, if you, if you don't manage to maintain that contact, then the arm drops away and you hit him anyway. But if you manage to get it, then the torque of the shoulder and the cross-body motor reaction stops the other hand from coming in. Failed, came off. And stayed off. And you see that the further down I drop, the worse it's going to be for him. We fire this one in. So our move this week has been this section of the kata. And of course there are other applications, you can see some of them um, in the Iron Horseman book and on Karen Application Volume 7 where we cover Techie Showdown. Um, but uh, essentially this one stops you from doing stuff like um, you know, straight punch to the middle where we're going to block here and punch over the top. Um, which doesn't really fit with the idea of what people might actually come throwing at.